Hi everyone, uh, Blair here from Watches on Broadway in Newmarket, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the uh, Belgiu 7750 automatic chronograph watch movement. Come on in and have a look. So I've got it in a yeah, watchmaker's vice here. Um, and what we're looking at at the top here is the winding rotor. Now, in this direction it spins freely, but in this direction you see it bouncing off the spring tension. Every time it moves this way, it does a little bit of winding of the mainspring. Now I'm going to take that out of the way so that we can see what's going on underneath here. Excuse my fingers, just got to support the screwdriver because I don't want to slip on anything. Put this in here. Now, this is a, uh, this movement has got several layers to it. At the bottom layer we've got the gear train that starts at the barrel and there you can just see the teeth that holds the mainspring and the gears are spread around the bottom of the watch you can see a wheel in there until we get around here to the escapement um, this is the balance wheel here that sets the rate of the watch and we have an adjustment for it right there it's keeping good time so I'm not going to touch that up here we have what's called a reversing wheel now when I was spinning the rotor it was moving this reversing wheel which turns this wheel which turns uh, a wheel under here which winds the mainspring. On this side of the watch we have, this is uh, the cam system, we've got one push piece here and another push piece here that start and stop the chronograph which is the stopwatch. Um, in this hole here is the top end of a little pinion uh, a double-ended pinion. Now a pinion is a wheel with 12 teeth or less. The bottom end of that pinion is running on the main gear train. It's turning all the time. But at the moment the top end of the pinion is not touching anything. I'm going to start the chronograph running. I'm going to press this button here. And that pinion is now slid across and it's engaged with the center wheel which you can see is turning. So the chronograph is now running. Um, if you look at this piece here, this is um, the stop work for the chronograph and under here, sorry that's the reset work, this here, let's use something pointier, is the stop piece. When I press the button again, it's going to touch the center wheel and stop it running. So here we go, center wheel stopped running, pinion has moved over out of the way again, it's still turning but nothing else is. Um, at this point, I'm going to reset the watch and this hammer and this hammer are going to come down and they're going to hit one of two heart shaped cams. If you see the distinctive heart shape there, on the back of that that's flat uh, and the little counterweight on it there. Um, I'm going to line that up about there. This hammer is going to hit that and zero it. So let's push this push piece here. Just supporting the watch while I do it and that heart cam has been spun around quite uh, quickly and this spring is pushing sorry this lever is pushing quite hard against the back of the cam the piece that does that is this spring here so it's pegged there all this tension all the way around here and it pushes on the back end of this lever here uh, all controlled by this cam system under which is what's called the crown wheel and we can manually wind the watch at that point. Now I'm going to turn the watch over but before I do I'm going to start the chronograph running again so that's center wheels turning again and I'm going to support the watch in this uh, specific stump you'll see it's even labeled 7750 it's got these little um, pieces at the back which protect the jewels in the back of the movement when I'm pushing on the hands, so I can push nice and hard uh, and I'm not going to pop anything out the back of the watch. So I'm just going to run the chronograph until it gets to about there and uh, I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to put this little piece of paper on the dial at about 10 to the hour. This is my little party trick for this watch. When I hit the reset button this hand is going to spin around backwards in this direction and reset to zero. So let's just see what happens there. 
Now if your eye's really quick, you will have seen the hand over shoot zero all the way around to 10 and flick the piece of paper off the dial and then it um, goes da -da 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 to stop at 12. Um, shows you how much spring tension is and how fast things happen when um, we hit the, the stop levers on one of these watches. So there you go, that's the 7750 movement. It's used in quite a wide variety of watches. Probably half the Swiss industry use this watch in their, um, in their watches. Sorry, this mechanism in their watches. And I muffed that line because I've got a customer to come in, so I better go. Cheers.